second of our semi-finals comes to you this week from London's Drill Hall, with another three contestants who each won their heat in this year's counterpoint competition. Today's trio are all from the south of England. Let's meet them as they introduce themselves. Number one. I'm Geoffrey Gordon, a retired civil servant from Bolton on the Water, Gloucestershire. Number two. I'm Brett Harvello, I'm living in Sussex, and I used to be a local government accountant. And number three. I'm Harry Barkin, I'm originally from Scarborough, but I now live in London and work at the Barbican Music Library. Very good. Percussionists, Sibelius, hymns and hymn singing, education. Mr. Parkin, you're in the lead. Which of those topics would you like to answer? Is education the portmanteau? So yeah, that's the portmanteau one, yeah, but uh, from every sort of walk of music. I'll try drummers and percussionists. Drummers and percussionists, Mr. Parkin, percussion ensemble, the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields, the John Dankworth Orchestra, and he was a founder member of both the National Ensemble and the pop group Sky. Tristan Fry. Tristan Fry is the right answer. Here's part of a performance by a New York born Latin percussionist who's won multiple Grammy Awards and a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame. Can you name him? He was percussing away there. Can you name him? Tito Puente. Tito Puente, yes. Uh, which innovative jazz drummer, a member of Billy Eckstein's big band in the mid 1940s, went on to lead the hugely influential jazz of Messengers? Art Blakey. Art Blakey is the correct answer. Now, which drummer am I describing? In his teens, he played the artful dodger on the London stage before answering a newspaper ad placed by a then little known British rock group. After playing drums on four albums with them, he took over unexpectedly as their singer. In 1975, when they couldn't find anybody else suitable. Ten years later, he's one of the best selling popular singers in the whole wide world. Who is he? Philip Collins. Mr. Philip Collins, right? Phil Collins is one notable example. Uh, here's another. I would like you to name him. Whose uh, golden voice and fine phrasing was that? I saw this question coming, but unfortunately, I didn't see the answer coming. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Steve Beard? A big one? Steve Beard? Nope. Uh, we, you could get one for knowing the group. It's Eagles. Right. Look fair. Look Right. Sorry. He's being very firm. Sorry about that, Mr. Bargain. Uh, I'm too soft hearted and he's a little Flintstone. Uh, finally, which English timpanist who worked extensively with Benjamin Britten taught Evelyn Glenny, once uh, per percussed on a radio show that uh, I was involved in? Uh, let me stop that and read it again. Finally, which. James Blades. Great. James Blade. Very good. At the end of that round, therefore, you have scored. You scored another 10 points. You had 8 in the first round, taking you to a total of 18 points. The result is as follows. In third place, uh, Mr. Balderson uh, has 12 points. In second place, Mr. Carvello has 15 points. Uh, but the winner this week, after a bravura run in the final section, uh, taking him to 29 points, is Harry Parkin. Parkin who takes a